gotta get up. It's time for the R Mac Radio Show. There's nothing I like better than a nice, ice cold, Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference. The RMAC is a proud member of NCAA Division II. Colorado School of Mines. There you go. That's legit. They can ball. The Colorado School of Mines can ball. Now, here's your host, Eric Danner. It's all good. Respect. Welcome to the RMAC Radio Show, week number six. My name is Eric Danner, and it was quite a week in RMAC football this past weekend. We're going to have a big show for you today here in the first segment. We're going to talk to Glenn Clinton, the outstanding tailback at Shadron State College, as CSC has uh, possibly the game of the year upcoming this weekend against CSU Pueblo, number 19 in the country against number five. In the second segment, we're going to talk to Greg Wagoner, director of athletics at Western State Colorado University. Rather interesting weekend for the Mountaineers and Black Hill State. And then the last segment, we're going to talk to Joe Servey, the outstanding columnist for the Pueblo Chieftain, who also doubles as their radio color commentator. But to start off with, give you a little background on what happened this weekend. If you didn't see, a massive snowstorm hit South Dakota, Nebraska, and Wyoming, dumping up to three feet of snow in certain places, shut down the town of Spearfish, shut down the town of Shadron for, for a time, and uh, Shadron State had to move their game from Saturday to Sunday, had a massive cleanup effort to get the field ready, and Shadron State did defeat Adam State 31 to nothing. Black Hill State playing Western State, and we had Jed Albers on last week. It was a swarm weekend, the homecoming weekend for Black Hill State. Unfortunately, we were not able to get that game in this weekend as the roads were closed to Spearfish in and out, uh, tried a number of different things. The Western State team got stranded in Lusk, Wyoming, had to spend a couple of nights on a gym floor. No blankets, no pillows, not a lot of fun there, but uh, they got through it. And unfortunately, uh, we weren't able to get that game in, so it's uh, postponed indefinitely at this point. But uh, Shadron State did get their game in, and we're now joined on the RMAC hotline by their starting running back. His name is Glenn Clinton. Glenn, how's it going today? I'm doing all right. Thanks for having me. Hey, thanks for being on the show, Glenn. Uh, Kind of a wild weekend from a player's perspective. Kind of give us uh, what your thoughts were obviously having to move the game from Saturday to Sunday. At the same time, I understand there was a power outage in the town of Shadron, so people didn't have power. Uh, the restaurants were closed. Tell, tell me what it was like in Shadron this past Saturday. Uh, it sure was a wild weekend with all the snow that we had. Uh, we have tree limbs down everywhere all through town. There's a massive cleanup. It's like a almost like a disaster zone here. But as far as the game, you know, we are still mentally ready for that game on Saturday, and truth be told my roommates woke me up and uh, they're like Glenn do you know that you don't have a game today and I I didn't (laughs) uh, so that's how I found out (laughs) talking to Glenn uh, Clinton the uh, running back from Shadron State and Glenn uh, you're from Cody Wyoming Uh, you've been at Shadron this is your fourth year now so you've seen some winter storms kind of tell us how this would maybe compare to those other winter storms yeah, I've sure seen a lot of snow, but this snow was weird. It was so wet. It was really, really heavy, and uh, I don't think there was any way we could have played on Saturday. They worked really hard, about 60 freshmen, all our, our whole coaching staff, a few people from town, Alex Helmbrick included, were clearing <laughs> off that field all all day Saturday and uh, got it ready for us on Sunday. It was actually fairly fairly good conditions on Sunday when we played. Talking to Glenn Clinton and – where you were at, what was the power out, and how long was it out? Did you think, wow, we're going to have to, you know, light candles and, uh, you know, get canned uh, soup and stuff like that? Was it was it to that point? Um, at my house, we were lucky enough to have our, our electricity the whole time. The cable went out for a while, but there was, you know, power lines down the street over from us. They didn't have any power. I know there was a lot of people around town that didn't, and uh I'm not sure if the school did or not, but we weren't directly affected at my house, uh, and and the day continued, I guess. Talking to Glenn Clinton, and I know with the field, uh, you also have to be careful. Not only you know, are you trying to clear it for a game that you wound up playing on Sunday, but you don't want to you know, have it so it's it's basically a mud pit for the remainder of the season. And watching the game, I had a chance to watch some of it on America One. Looks like they did a great job clearing it. You know, field looked green, looked pretty good on TV. Uh, but in seeing some of the pictures, I, I saw there was a lot of mud and those kind of things. So so what's the field like right now? Um, 
it's dried up a bit. It's not as torn up as we expected, so that's good having two home games back to back. They did a great job clearing it off, and uh, it, it wasn't as bad as it looked. I don't think. Talking to Glenn Clinton and uh, Shadron State defeated Adam State on Sunday, thirty-one to nothing. Dylan Furrier, a linebacker, was our Player of the Week on the defensive side of the ball at a. Uh, game high 15 tackles including a sack a strip and a fumble recovery all on the same play as Shadron moves to four and one on the year number 19 in the country and Glenn this is your senior year obviously you know how big this game is against CSU Pueblo coming in five and oh number five ranked team in the country you guys had a whale of a ball game at Pueblo last year if fans are coming up to Shadron on Saturday what can they expect well, it's going to be a good one as always. Um, everyone's getting up for this one. The coaches, the players, the fans, we're all ready for this week. We know how big it is. We've been working towards it this whole year. And uh, it's, you know, in the end, it's just another game. We're preparing just like every other week. But um, this this one's a big one. We know it. Talking to Glenn Clinton. And, Glenn, uh, last time I saw you was down in the Big D at, uh, at AT&T Stadium. Obviously, that was a tough loss. For you guys, uh, 34-31, I believe, was the final against West Texas A&M. Uh, have you, did you guys use that for motivation the past few weeks? And is, is that something, you know, that you're looking back on maybe as, as a helpful experience uh, now that we're a couple games into the season? Yeah, it was a very helpful experience. We had a long week to prepare for our next game after that because it was a Thursday game. We were able to regroup after that loss, you know, such a close loss that that hurt us quite a bit and uh, come back strong from it. And I think we've responded really well. I think we're still improving every week. We still have a lot to improve on. And uh, the film this week's going to be great. I, you know, since West Texas, since the first game of the season since West Texas, we've been, we've been getting better every week. Well, hey, Glenn, we want to thank you for taking some time out, and good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. Thanks for having me. All right, that is Glenn Clinton, the running back for Shadron State College, having an outstanding year, has rushed for 687 yards on 113 carries with seven touchdowns. So he is on pace to have another great year, was a first-team All-Armac, was our preseason offensive player of the year. So uh, continuing right where he uh, left off last year, other players of the week we had this past week, Ronell Pompey from Western New Mexico had 226 yards receiving on seven catches and a touchdown as Western New Mexico upsets Colorado Mines 25-22 in Silver City. WNMU moves to 1-2 and two on the year. Colorado Mines, their first conference loss, now 2-1, 3-2 and one, three and two overall. We mentioned Dylan Furrier from Shadron State and also Brendan Cleason is our special teams player of the week. He uh, helped CSU Pueblo with a 48.4 yards per punt average for the pack this past weekend as CSU Pueblo defeated Fort Lewis 35-3 to to move to 5-0 and in the conference. The other game we had this past weekend, Shadron State. Uh, I'm sorry, Shadron State already we mentioned that, 31 nothing. Colorado Mesa defeated New Mexico Highlands 22-17. The Mavericks now 2-1 and in the conference, 3-2 and overall as Highlands drops to 1-2 and and 2-3. and So very big uh, contest there for more on what's going to be happening this weekend, let's head over to Kia Jeffords in Kia's Corner. Thanks, Eric. It's one of the most anticipated games of the year as number five ranked CSU Pueblo hopes to continue their five game win streak as they kick off against number 19 ranked Shadron State on Saturday at noon. The Thunderwolves travel on the road to play at Eagles home stadium. CSU Pueblo also has a 31-game regular season win streak. Western New Mexico and Colorado Mesa are both coming off big victories. The Mustangs hit the road this Saturday for Grand Junction. They will play at Stoker Stadium. Game time is set for 1 p.m. Fort Lewis plays their second straight road game of the season against Colorado Mines. Kickoff is set for noon at Campbell Field. Black Hill State matches up against Adams State as the Yellow Jackets travel to Alamosa, Colorado, still looking for their first win. Game time is set for 1 o'clock at Rex Stadium. New Mexico Highlands returns to the road as the Cowboys face off against Western State. The game starts at 1 p.m. in the Mountaineer Bowl. I'm Kia Jeffords, and this is Kia's Corner. Thank you, Kia. When we come back, we're going to talk about Western State and their wild weekend with their director of athletics, Greg Wagoner. You're listening to the RMAC Radio Show. <laughs> <laughs> 